Howdy. Howdy. I'm Weston Martinez. Good to see you guys. How many of y'all are excited that this is the last year of President Obama's time in the White House? <laughs> Amen. Me too. I'll tell you what, I'm very thankful and blessed y'all are here today because let me tell you, the reason why Texas stays red is because Texas continues to be a rural state, and I'm very thankful for each and every one of y'all doing what you can do to keep those liberals like the people in San Antonio and Austin in San Antonio and Austin. God's really blessed me, and I'm real thankful to be here. I'll talk about some of the conservative leaders supporting us. But to answer the question real specifically, look, we need to do whatever we can to decrease the permitting time. We need to work in different ways to make things efficient and effective and make sure that when we're moving the ball forward, that we're doing so in a very, very, very good stewardship type of manner. So it's very important that we look at those things. I've been blessed with conservative leaders across the state of Texas supporting me, like Texas, former Texas Republican Chairman Kathy Adams, uh, Joanne Fleming, Jonathan Sines, who was the uh, leader against the HERO ordinance in San Antonio. Y'all remember that bathroom ordinance over there? I was thankful I came to Howlettsville and it still said men and women in a separate bathroom. So it's very important that we have people that are involved. So my conservative leadership, I'm the guy that started the recall election against Julian Castro, that liberal mayor in San Antonio. Believe me. And the funniest thing about all that is that a staffer for Barack Obama liked a Facebook post about that, and uh, Obama said my name in the White House. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> So you need someone that is a tried and true conservative leader, not somebody that's just saying things on a campaign trail, and that's why God's blessed me with all kinds of support. But a more important reason is I currently serve you as real estate commissioner for the state of Texas. Governor Perry appointed me four years ago. I've been serving you, the citizens of Texas, in that, in that position, and know that my role as a commissioner is to work for you, the citizens of Texas, not special interests. We need to make sure that we have people that are ready to do the job on day one, and I'm ready to do the job on day one. Somebody asked a question the other day. They asked a question about the Real Estate Commission, and I'll tell you there's a, a little bit of relevance. So far to date, the Real, the real Estate Commission has 214,000 phone calls that have come in. We had 67,000 emails that have come in. We had 22,000 new applications that came into the Real Estate Commission this year. So let me tell you what. Having the experience and the leadership that matters, matters. And I'm thankful for that, and I'm blessed by that, and that's why I know that I'm ready to serve you on day one. But the most important qualifier and the most important reason to support me for a railroad commission is because I actually started a services company, the Eagle for Shale, selling frack water, and God blessed me with that opportunity, worked hard, worked really hard to get that together, saw the good, the bad, and the ugly, signed, signed leases across the play, also in West Texas, and I understand those issues that are important. I understand how a lot of people got drilled one well, and those infilled wells, well, they're not getting drilled as quickly as they used to. You know, knowing about water and knowing about what's happening in Texas with water is a very key important ingredient to how we move forward in getting the rest of the play developed. And do it responsibly. And do it in a way that protects private property rights. You know, we have to make sure that individuals aren't just taken advantage of because they're small or because they're big. We need to make sure that there's transparency. We need to make sure that at the Railroad Commission we do things like I've done at the Real Estate Commission and decrease fees. Increase accountability. You know, the well logs that they use currently at the Railroad Commission, people get them electronically, the operators do. They have to print them out and put them on a printed out piece of paper, printed out PDF, printed out a document, and then send it to the Railroad Commission, and guess what they do? Put it back into electronic format. That's just crazy, ladies and gentlemen. So we have to be sure we know what is happening. Again, I'm blessed with conservative leadership across the state of Texas. I'm blessed with the proper experience, and I'm blessed to know what it is that we're working on. Let me just surmise it in this way. I'm pro-life, pro-gun, pro-family, and pro-Israel, and at the end of the day, I'm pro-Texas. And if any of y'all feel the same way, I'm the one to vote for, and I appreciate y'all's support. Visit WestonForTexas.com, and let's get to the next generation of Texas politics. This race is about the future. It's not about the past. I went to college on a bull riding scholarship, so man, my ears tickle every time I hear those bells ring, so I'm just going to keep talking just till we hear it. <laughs> this ain't my first rodeo, but let me tell you what, there's something exciting about being involved in the great state of Texas to keeping the Texas miracle alive and making sure that we put our good children and family members back to work in the oil and gas field, and that's what I will do as your railroad commissioner for the great state of Texas.